Hey guys and welcome to this video. So today we will basically model a rectangular plate which has a hole at its center and that is being pulled from either the side. So I'm going to model this as a quarter model so that uh, computationally I can basically save more time and it becomes much more efficient. Uh, so as you can see this vertical line it's basically uh, always there in the vertical direction therefore it's constrained to move in the horizontal direction and for as, as far as this horizontal line is concerned it does not move vertically. So I'm going to constrain the model in this for this line and in this line and then I'm going to apply this force in this. So here basically what we'll do is go to preferences and select structural. In preprocessor I'm going to select the element of uh, plane 183 uh, which comes under solid. Now it's written 8 node 183 which implies that uh, for a quadrilateral element if you take uh, it will have 8 nodes uh, one at the edges and one at the middle point of each line segment. So click on OK in options I'm going to change this to triangle so it will have 6 nodes instead and here we'll basically select plane stretch with thickness. Click on OK. So uh, now we'll basically go to the real constants option click on add edit click on OK and here we'll basically select the thickness of the element it's going to be 10 mm here so now I'll basically create up my model in enhances itself but before that I'm going to select the material properties of this so go to material models and here in structure click on linear elastic and isotropic and put up the Young's modulus here and the Poisson ratio of 0.3 and uh, if you basically look at the units uh, for steel, it's the Young model is 2.1 into 10 raised to per 11 Pascal. So this 10 raised to per 5 comes because I've converted into CGS system instead. Click on OK. And uh, since this model is linear, it implies that uh, the stress versus strain graph is kind of linear. It does not follow the actual graph. So it's completely elastic. Click on. Uh, so now we we'll basically go, go, to, go to the modeling option. Click on create. Uh, then we basically select areas and rectangle and by two corners select this and then uh, select the width which is basically 50 in this case and the height will be sorry the width is 100 and the height will be about 50 click on ok now we we'll basically construct a circle at this end So again, we'll go to areas option, click on circle, solid circle, select the center of this and the radius will be about say 5. So we'll get this, now we'll uh, use the boolean operations in this in order to construct uh, the vacant region here. So now we'll basically go to the operate option, click on booleans and subtract areas. We'll select this rectangle first click on OK then we're gonna select the circle click on OK and as you can see we will get this region so we have modeled this uh, one fourth of the geometry right now and then now I'm gonna apply the constraints on this line and this line and we're gonna apply the force on this and then uh, we'll just solve this model in answers uh, so now we'll basically uh, go to the mesh tool option in meshing click on this and we'll have a smart size of this and we'll go to the fine mesh here click on try mesh and select this entire region click on ok and as you can see we'll get a mesh uh, which has triangular elements and these are six noded one node is at the center of this line and at the remaining edges as well and the other nodes are at these three endpoints so in total six also, uh, since th we are interested in this region, what we can do is go to the mesh tool and uh, we can go to this refine option as well. When you click on refine, we'll select this region and uh, you can select the box region. So it will create a box around this and the nodes that will come con con get confined in this box, they will get much better mesh and therefore the meshing here will be much more uh, denser. So but for this purpose, for the example uh, that I'm considering, I'm not taking that. Uh, now we'll basically go to the uh, loads option here we'll go to define loads and apply click on structural and here we'll go to displacement option on lines select this line click on ok and here uh, we'll select the constraint in the x direction 
and by default this basically takes the displacement value to be zero so click on okay and as you can see these arrows come up again select this line and se uh, select this click on okay and here now we'll basically choose the option ui click on okay and as you can see we are we have applied the boundary conditions here now we just need to apply the force on this line uh, now we'll basically go to this pressure option and select uh, click on lines cl cl select this click on ok now I'm gonna type in the value here suppose say 100 newtons per mm square so cl click on this Uh, so as you can see uh, this actually arrow points in this direction so what I had to do there was uh, select click on the minus 100 option instead so first of all I'll have to delete this load go to this delete option and click on all load data uh, sorry we'll basically select the structural data and uh, click on pressure on lines select this line click ok so the force here gets deleted now what I'm gonna do is again go to uh, apply on lines click this click on ok and instead type here minus 100 so as you can see this arrow points down in the right direction now we'll just simply uh, go to the solution tab and uh, click on new analysis and here we'll go to solve and current ls so solution is done so now we'll go to uh, general post proc and we'll plot the results go to contour plot element solutions and we'll just model up the stresses and see how they have come up so as you can see the maximum stress does come out to be this on this line and this is pretty much um, true because of the fact that this line is constrained in this direction where the force is being applied so the element here will experience a maximum stress and this kind of experience is the minimum because this kind of moves along with the force and now what i'm going to do is go to plot controls and here i'll uh, go to style click on symmetry expansion periodic cyclic symmetry and we'll go to this option one for dihedral symmetry and this kind of uh, rectangle gets mirrored about and uh, the whole entire rectangular region uh, kind of forms and then uh, we go to plot controls option animate and deformed results here we'll go to stress and one minus is equivalent so as you can see when this gets pulled the stress in the entire plate increases and here we get the maximum load so that's it thanks for watching feel free to leave comments below and subscribe to this channel i'll bring a lot more great videos ahead thanks